name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the discussion on Bach flower essences and their practical use. Continuing with their use on ailments. Today, we'll look at the ailments that these essences can help with, starting with the letter D ailments. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Death. When there is a deep fear of death, use aspen and rock rose. When there is a strong longing for death, use clematis. People who find little happiness in the present and seek comfort in the future often hope for a final solution in death, especially during an illness. When, in, when an easing of the process of dying is needed, you then use oak and walnut. Oak shortens a futile struggle with death, and walnut brings in inner tranquility. Dependence on others. Dependence on others can be treated when it creates suffering or other negative emotions. These emotions show that our need for independence is being restricted. When there is dependence on others due to a weak personality, use century. When there is dependence on others due to a need for attention, use chicory. When there is a dependence on others due to a need for recognition, use heather. When there is a dependence on others due to guilt, use pine. When there is a dependence on others because of being easily influenced, use walnut. Dependence and insecurity. When there are issues with dependence and insecurity, then use serrato. Depression. Use mustard as the basic treatment for depression. Depression results when important life-affirming impulses or needs that are critical to our happiness are suppressed. The extent of the depression is determined by the force of the suppression. You might say that the most depressed people have the potential for the most happiness. When we know and understand the reason for our depression, we call it reactive depression, meaning a reaction to unhappy circumstances. And when it seems in inexplicable, we call it endogenous or internal depression. That is, stemming from the mind of this or the psyche. Often, reactive depression can be countered by treating the conditions creating the depressed state, while endogenous or internal depression demands a profound rehabilitation of our total worldview and assumptions. This cannot be achieved when the depressed person will not allow the therapist access to their inner mind or when they are mentally broken. Also, the role of, person's of a person's physical condition should not be underestimated. Liver conditions especially can create a depressive state or melancholia. Mustard is the basic treatment and should be combined with the following essences as needed. When there is depression that is caused by fear, use aspen and mustard. When there is depression that is due to helplessness, use serrato and mustard. When there is depression that is due to self-denial, use crabapple and mustard. When there is depression that is due to failure, use gentian and mustard. When there is depression that is due to a lack of recognition, use heather and mustard. When there is depression that is due to suppressed aggression, use holly and mustard. When there is depression that is due to a fear of failure, use hornbeam and mustard. When there is depression that is due to insufficient self-confidence, use larch and mustard. When there is depression that is without apparent cause, use mustard. When there is depression that is due to weakness, use olive and mustard. When there is depression that is due to guilt feelings, use pine and mustard. When there is depression that is due to excessive worries, you'd use red chestnut and mustard. 
When there's depression that is due to an unresolved shock or unbearable problem, you star of Bethlehem and mustard. When there is depression that is due to extreme desperation, you sweet chestnut and mustard. When there is depression that is due to a lack of purpose in life, use wild oat and mustard. When there is depression that is with resignation and lack of interest, use wild rose and mustard. Desperation, absolute desperation. Sweet chestnut is used when we have reached a point when we feel we just can't go on, generally because we have been struggling against fate, when we have lost all hope, when we can no longer think or speak. If taken in a timely manner and in combination with other appropriate essences, sweet chestnut can help get us out of this black hole. Developmental Difficulties When children don't develop correctly, it's a sign that they're lacking something or being suppressed or impeded in some way. Some possible causes for this could include, but are not limited to, improper nutrition or an unfavorable environment, as well as the psychic constitution. The psyche is positively and negatively influenced by everything it perceives and experiences, and transmits all harmful experiences to the body. Physical health is impo impossible without mental and psychic well-being. When there are developmental issues due to fear, use aspen and mimulus. When there are developmental issues due to a relapse and an illness, use gentian. When there are developmental issues due to an inferiority complex, use larch. When there are developmental issues due to exhaustion, use olive. When there are developmental issues due to a traumatic experience, use Star of Bethlehem. Disappointment. Disappointment can be a positive thing when it frees us from illusions. When viewed in this fashion, we can overcome it more quickly and will perhaps not be so easily disappointed in the future. When we are disappointed due to failure, use gentian. When you're disappointed with bitterness, use willow. Discipline, too severe and remote. The purpose of discipline is to sustain and improve our lives and to pr promote our happiness. It should be practiced as an end unto itself, and it should be carried out with a certain amount of compassion and flexibility. When we are to discipline within ourselves, use rock water. When we are to discipline towards others, use vine. Discontentment, depression, moodiness, ungratefulness, lack of enthusiasm. When we experience discontent, ungratefulness, and lack of enthusiasm due to ins insatiability, use chicory. When we experience a discontented, ungrateful, and lack of enthusiasm caused by failure, use gentian. When we experience discontentment, ungratefulness, and lack of enthusiasm for no recognizable cause, use mustard. When we experience discontentment, ungratefulness, and lack of enthusiasm with life, use wild oat. Disorder When we will not tolerate disorder, use crab apple. Also use crab apple for compulsive need for order and cleanliness. When we will not tolerate disorder, use rock water for excessive discipline. When we will not tolerate disorder, use vine for mental and emotional inflexibility. When we are disorderly because of an excessive tendency to daydream, use clematis. When we are disorderly because we are too overcome with nostalgia or heartache to concern ourselves with anything else. When we are disorderly because we can never make a clear decision, use sloranthus. When we are disorderly because we don't know how to behave, use wild oat. 
I have a great many videos now on many different topics, and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.